<laughs> it's pouring out there. What's up? It's Corey, up full fit. Good to be here with you guys. Today, we are talking about muscle contraction. All right, like I said, we're gonna talk about the different types of muscle contractions today. Um, another way to think about it would be the different types of ways to put tension on your muscle. Any type of contraction in which your muscle is either shortening or lengthening is called an isotonic contraction. Now, when your muscle is shortening, like for instance in a bicep curl, when you're bringing the weight up and it's getting bigger and your muscle is shortening, that's gonna be called a concentric contraction. When you're lowering it, and your muscles long lengthening, it's gonna be called an eccentric contraction. Now, if you have the weight in your hand and you're just holding it still, that is an isometric contraction. All three of these are very useful tools to use in the gym. And if you're missing one, you're missing out. Now, you may not have heard any of your gym buddies come up to you and tell you, oh yeah, man, I just hit some really good eccentric bicep hammer curls. No, 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 that's not what it's all about. What we wanna do is develop an understanding of all three of these contractions and implement them on the regular. That way the gains are extreme. Extreme as possible. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get to the gym and throw down some big time examples. All right, we made it. Pretty much had to float halfway here, but we here. Let's get inside. Coming into some classic cable bicep curls. We are not throwing the weight around. We're focusing on that concentric and eccentric contraction. Shortening the bicep and letting it lengthen out. We have that muscle mind connection going through the full range of motion, nice and slow, feeling the tension. And what do we have? Last but not least, a nice isometric hold. The muscle is not lengthening, not shortening, but there is plenty of tension on the bicep. All right, I think that's enough. All right, our next example, the squat. We have that eccentric and concentric phase. On the way down, our quads are stretching out or lengthening and on the way up, shortening. And what do we have here? Take a guess. You're right, isometric work on the quads. We're holding that position, putting the tension on the muscle, but the muscle is not shortening or lengthening. All right, it's important to take note that the weight is moving slower through the eccentric phase than the concentric phase. Slow on the way down, fast on the way up. Now we're going into some isometric work. Pushing one hand against the other and contracting the chest. Another way to do this would be to press against the wall. Don't let that tension up. It hurts. All right, last but not least, voluntary eccentric contraction, or as many of you know, negative reps. This is a great way to blast through the plateaus. Say you can't do a pull up, jump up, and slow, slow, slowly, Lower yourself. Ooh, yeah. Well, I hope you guys learned a little something, something. About to get down on this fruit and this shake. You like that? Well, then like this and comment below. Subscribe. Thank you.